Okay, so I'm going to show you how to play basically every card in the game in story mode. So I'll show you the levels and just give you like one sentence on each card. Okay, so just to let you know, not all of the cards can be played in story mode. So yeah, some of them you can only buy at the shop. So I won't be testing those out because I'm poor. Also, there will be an order of when they show up. So first one is burst. In, the, in stage 1-1, one, one. I mean, it's a very eh card. I feel like it's pretty, it feels very clunky compared to some of the other cards like Saber Red and stuff. Also, I'll be making like a tier list thing, except I'll be making like one video on each card that I can try and sort of make like a tier list in a playlist, if you know what I mean. Anyways, on to the next card. Okay, second card is Turbo Tortoise in 1-4. And I just realized the first three levels, they, they all use Burst, which is kind of weird. And Turbo Tortoise, it's, a, it's an item card. And I'm not sure if you can even get it at the shop yet. So, Okay, so 1-5 is Strike. And Strike, I mean, it, it's got a very similar feel to... What's it called? To, um... Burst. So, yeah, I guess that's all that is to say. I mean, it's nothing, there's nothing special. Okay, level 2-2, which is Banana Split. I mean, it's just a, it's just an item card. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not very good, but I mean, it, it's an item card, so I wouldn't expect it to be great. Anyways, if you want to play every card that is available in story mode, all you need to do is get up to level 7-5, and that's where the last card, Saber Red, will show up. Anyways, on to the next card. Okay, 2-3 is Marathon. Okay, so from what I know, this is one of the first cards you'll unlock. I mean, not permanently, but one of the first cards. And it's also one of the cheapest cards to unlock, so... Yeah, I mean, it's it's not it's not great considering... I mean, it's not a great card, but I mean... If you're just starting, I guess it's okay. Okay, 2-4 is solid. Also, this one can be unlocked in 2 dash in, in, in the S1 Boom Hill challenge thing. And I mean, overall, it's it's pretty it's pretty solid. Okay, so two six is Lord Albert. And to be honest, I don't really know much about this car. I haven't really played with this one that much. I think there's only like a few stages with it, and I've never decided to buy it from the shop as it never seemed like something that would be a good investment. But I mean, I guess it's pretty fun to play with it. It's got a weird feel with its small hitbox. Okay, level three four is the Panda Buggy. Okay, so from what I hear, this is probably one of the best lower tier, lower tier cars, carts before. It's probably like just before Solo. Actually, it might even be better than Solo. Its drifting is pretty smooth and stuff, but I, I still can't get used to its small hitbox though. It's kind of uncomfortable for me for some reason. Okay, 3-5, we've got Rudolph. I mean, it's, it's just another item card, so uh, there's not much to stay here. Okay, so... 3-6 is Solar. So um this is one of the first cards you'd probably buy with your K coins. I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. It's it's drifting is pretty smooth. I'd I'd say it's not as good as Panda, but I feel like it's to me I, I would prefer this over Panda. Okay, so 4-5 we have one of the it's quite a special car. It's called Golden Roadhog. I don't think you can get this anywhere else, but it might come out for an event or something. I mean, this car's certainly fun to play around with, but I mean, it doesn't really excel in anything. It's just sort of... I mean, it looks pretty cool. Okay, 4-6, we have the Unicorn Chariot. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Actually, is this a... Is this an item card? I don't... I'm not actually sure. Wait, I don't think it is. Huh. I'm surprised. 4-2, we have Lodi November. Okay, so you get this card from the first charge rewards. And I, I did I have I used it for quite a while before it ran out obviously because I didn't first charge it for it to be permanent. But I mean it, it's a pretty solid car. I would I, I, it's one of my favorites currently because I don't know I just like the feel of it. But I guess it's up to personal preference really. Okay, so five five we've got the golden Lodi calf car. I mean to be honest I think this is more of a flex car than an actual good car. I mean, it's drifting is quite cool, but other than that, I guess, it seems to be quite more of a flexing item. Okay, so 5-6, we have Monster. 
I mean, this card looks like a mix between Saber Red and Marathon. I didn't even realize this card existed. I don't think there's any way to get it currently, but I mean, it feels pretty nice, so I'll give it that. Okay, so now we've got one of the $100 cards. Pink Cotton on stage 6-6. Six -six. I mean, this card, it feels pretty nice, although the drifting doesn't even... It feels a bit slow. I mean, I think the speed is pretty fast, but I don't think that the drifting feels kind of weird, but I feel like I can definitely feel the the um, drift bar charging a bit faster than normal. But is it worth 100? Okay, so now for the current best car in the... Best car? Okay. So now for the current best car in the entire game, Saber Red. I mean, currently, I, I, I forgot to tell you that this was stage 7-5, so there you go. I mean, it is quite a nice card, to be honest. It, it feels quite smooth compared to something like Marathon. Also, and I think there, there will be a way to get it coming very, very soon, so... But I, I'm not expecting it to be very cheap, though, considering Pink Cotton was $100. I'll see if this... We'll see the price of this then. Anyways, that was all for today, and if you are saying, but Golden, but you forgot practice card in level 2-1, um, I, I, I don't care. <laughs>